Welcome everyone, my name is Omar Hernandez, I am a student from the Unipoly, and I am going to explain to you some functions that you can use in Microsoft PowerPoint to mostly make it a bit more flashy. That way adding animations, transitions, and generally changing the design of your work so it can become more appealing to the human eye. Well, first we'll begin with the transitions. Now, transitions are ways to cut from one, uh, from one slide to another in a more stylish way. As you can see, there's, uh, I already put one transition here called push. And as you can see, it's a little stylish way of moving around your slides. You can use many different options. Like this, for example. This one is a lot more uh, stylish. Or if you just want to keep it simple, you can use just things like this one over here, push. Now another thing with this is that all of these different uh, animations have different options. Have different options. You can see over here, this one for example, the push uh, animation, it lets you move from any side that you want, whether it's left, right, or top, not just the bottom. So. You can select any one that you feel looks the better. Same thing with this, for example, uh, random bars. It has its own different options. You can have the bars appear in a vertical way or a horizontal way. So it is a very handy tool just to make your presentation a lot more different, make it a bit more cool. Also, there are small details like uh, you can add sound to it. As it happens, for example, we can add it with a drum roll or even an explosion. You could combine this with uh, things like this, just to add even more flash to it. However, I will recommend you do not go too far with these animations because it can be a bit too distracting for the viewer and they can end up losing focus in what you're actually trying to convey. With that being said, uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be creative. You can do this as you feel like it. Now, and for next, we will be going through the animations. Now, the animations here are little clever ways that you can move around your, uh, basically all of your elements that are in your slide, which in this case, for example, will be the text. Now, as you can see, each one of these are counted as one element because uh, they are separated using the enter button. And now, for the first animations, we have the appearing animations. These are animations that will happen when you move from slide to slide. So basically to make your content appear. Now, as you can see, I have this flying option and it makes the text appear one-on-one -on -one in a more stylish way. You can select many other different options like wheel. And as you can see, it does it with every single element. Now, if you don't want this to happen because it might take too long, then you can simply use the effect option. As you can see, it is here on sequence. You can do it with as one object, which reveals, which reveals all of it as a single element. Or you can do all at once, which does it, uh, treating, it treating them like different elements, but showing them up all at once. And then my paragraph is the normal one that we saw. So for now, we'll choose all at once. And also, once again, uh, just like the transitions, the animations have their own options to make them more stylish. For example, over here, you can make it appear in many different fashions, like over here, spokes. Yep, you can make it appear in very stylish ways. Also, uh, if you don't want it to be done, you can add animations. You can add other animations because uh, the entrance animations are not the only ones. There is also emphasis animations. As you can see, these uh, small details basically help for you to highlight 
certain elements that you might want to bring attention to. So for example, if we go with uh, grow or shrink, this can make uh, not only for calling attention, but also for modifying, modifying your own element. However, you will have to be very thoughtful about this so that way your slide is in, uh, doesn't end up being <clears throat> damaged in your process. Here, for example, you can see the way you can darken not all of the text, lighten it up, or even just completely change its color. Now, for something, we'll be doing uh, this, false. This right here is the main one that you use for calling attention to a certain item. Now, <clears throat> this right here, as you can see, has been added to all of the elements. So, they'll all be appearing along each other. If you can see, with a single preview, they'll appear, and then the highlight will happen. So you can add many different animations to your text. It's not just uh, one. In fact, uh, for finishing, we can add the exit animations. These ones are, again, another stylish way of uh, making your text simply uh, disappear. If you don't want the slide to finish to, uh, um, how do I say, too quickly, for example, you can simply use uh, this anim these animations. We can try, for example, win uh, random bars. As you can see, it makes it disappear. And so when this animation happens, it, uh, it will translate to the final, to the other slide. Sorry. And uh, we can use this, for example, to make them all fly out. And once again, it's the same option. If you don't want all of them to fly off uh, one by one, we can just put that all of them disappear as one object. So, <clears throat> if you can uh, see, let's see in the preview real quick, see how all of them appear, highlight, and then disappear. All of this, mind you, doesn't happen just like that. You can do it uh, with the <clears throat> trigger over here. If you know uh, PowerPoint, then you'll know that every single animation has to start by you triggering it, meaning you have to press either a key or the mouse so that way the animations happen. You can also do it on a way in a bookmark, uh, but that one's a bit more complicated. It's actually, I'll tell you, it, may be, it might be a bit easier to just kind of keep uh, a study of when your animations have to be happening for you to be talking correctly. Yes. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this would be for the animations. Now, also, as you can see, you can do this not only with text, obviously, but also with images. Uh, let me show you. You can make uh, each one of them show at a time, but uh, in a way that you can choose which one you want to appear first. So, not only that, you can also choose uh, different uh, different animations for your elements. So if I, gotta, I want to do split for the image, let's add maybe this, and then you can just select number two over here and make it have a flying animation. Then we can go with this one and have it use shrivel. Do you uh, do you get it? You can use different animations with all of your with all of your elements, not just have them being a single one. Now for a, a little now final thing, we'll be going through the design. Now there are many different ways that you can customize your presentation, so that way it isn't boring to look at. Obviously, people don't just want to stare at text. They become bored and they start losing attention on your work. So you can choose many of the different uh, designs that PowerPoint has for you. 
All of them are beautiful and appealing for any person. And you can even put your creativity on it. So that way you can attract more people while you explain. So maybe we can choose this one. Okay, obviously, uh, the designs aren't the same. There's going to be changes within the text. If you're already finished uh, with a design in mind and then change to another one, it's going to be a bit problematic because, as you, can, as you can see, the text doesn't stay the same. So, keep that in mind whenever you're selecting your design. Make sure that you have the design that you like, a design that you're certain you're going to keep. Because if you're trying to change it later, you might have a bit of uh, a bit of a problem making it look appealing again. So, uh, as for now, we're going to stay with the one that I chose. Uh, not also, not only that, but you can also change the colors. So, let's say you like this design, but you're not a very big fan of the color green. Well, we can fix that very easily by simply going to the colors to all of the themes that Office has for us. As you can see, there are many appealing ones, like this one over here, purple. I think this one looks very pretty. So, as you can see, it makes it into a different color, any color that you might like. And if you don't want this, you can create your own theme colors. You can make, uh, basically, if you're not satisfied with any of the default colors that Office has for you, you can select any one that you want. And if you're creative, you'll come up with very, very good colors. But I like this one, so I'll keep it. There's also effects. These effects are basically uh, <laughs> mostly for small details within, uh, let's say, your presentations, or in case you have far more, uh, far more detailed text or even images. Those effects also help you. It also helps a bit with the transitions and animations. And the fonts, well, they are obviously for changing the style of the entire text that is around the presentation. So maybe if we go with, say, uh, Century Gothic, this changes every single text that is around. As you can see, it ended up changing it. And, uh, well, that'll be it. A, a small detail, you can also make the slide be a landscape or a portrait. So that, that will be of most to you. There's also uh, many different, say, uh, slides that you can create. So that way your presentation also has different looking uh, elements. So once again, uh, let's say maybe you want something different for this. You don't just want a, a regular box to put a lot of text in. Well, this is where the slide thing comes. Adding a different slide. As you can see, it, is, it has the many different slides that you can choose. Uh, like this one, for example, the content with caption or content or picture with caption. Sorry. This one will help you get a lot more different view for the person uh, looking at your presentation. That way, it can be even more appealing. So they don't have to stare at the exact same box with the exact same way, uh, way of arranging text. And even if you want, you can do a different layout. Like right here, you can change the layout if you would like. For example here, but once again, uh, the text will remain undifferent to the changes. So you gotta be careful with that. Yes. And, uh, well, that, that will be mostly all for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, I'll see you for a, a, prob uh, a likely next tutorial. So, uh, take care.